Let's hot topics, hot opinions, and the spiciest memes. I'm Marissa Roberto. And I'm Brody Moore. <laughs> producer Tyler is giving us two minutes to discuss four topics, and we'll track them at the bottom of your screen. At any point in time, if one of us gets out of line and definitely needs to shut up, we can hit this mute button to mute them for 30 seconds. Ah, uh, that's right, but we like it when you play along in chat. So give us the a what for, because we can take it. Let's start, uh, let's start off our debates, which I will win, okay. with a pro CSGO player accused of having been vac banned. Optic Gaming's star player, Config, is accused of having a VAC ban on an alternate account. For those who don't know, VAC is an anti-cheat system developed by Valve. So it's Valve, it's Valve anti-cheat, basically that's the acronym. If an account is caught cheating, it is promptly banned and prevented from competing in Valve tournaments, no questions asked. Config has been accused of being VAC banned before, but this time the allegation comes from a hacker. They said that they used Config's email and password to log into both his main account and an alternate account that has been VAC banned. Brody, regardless of what you think of these allegations, uh, is this back ban policy still a good one? Like, does it, st does it still apply? Does it still work? Oh yeah, I love banning cheaters and hackers. Why? We, why? Of course, back ban is still good because it catches a lot of bad guys. Now, if the allegations are coming from someone that calls themselves a hacker, I'm, I'm gonna take that with a grain of salt. I mean, yeah. like this guy's coming out and saying, "Yeah, I cause problems," but pay attention to this guy. Right. Well, I mean, uh, I don't like. I don't like the whole the fact like the fact that this guy like Config has had an account before that's been banned. Like he's already been accused of cheating. He has yes. cheated before. So like usually cheaters cheat again, right? Because they okay. found a way to break the system. They're gonna do it again. So yeah. I mean, I understand why this hacker. You know, he felt like he was doing God's work. Like he's in there getting things done. He's like tap tap tapping away, figuring out well, if he's like still a cheating. He's a whistleblower indeed. Um, so, but then again, I don't like, like I'm so I'm so torn with this because I really hate rats. I really hate I, dirty uh, rats. There's no such, really there's no such thing as that. There is. No, there, if someone's there causing is. a problem, you need to say something. No, because that's just being a tattletale. It's not being a tattletale. Okay, you know what? what? This is a real big problem. The fact okay. that we tell kids they shouldn't tattletale, that is absolutely wrong. No, that but, is absolutely no, stupid. But there, okay, sorry. It's, it should be more of a gray situation, right? It's not black and white. Like you, sometimes you have to tattle. Sometimes you have. Sometimes you have to be a rat uh, for the greater good of everyone. But there are certain examples, like the issue oh, they you're can calling them of, rats. You're who, already discouraging people from bringing the truth about. No, but there's there's one thing to be a rat for personal gain. Stop calling them rats. Sorry. It's one thing to be a tattletale for personal gain. It's a completely other one to be a tattletale for the greater good. Okay, yes. so if we're doing something to benefit others, be benefit the mass amount of people out there, then okay, that's fine. So maybe that's what this hacker did, or maybe this hacker just has a personal vendetta against Config. I, I don't know, but uh, I don't think Config's gonna get banned because pro uh, privilege. Oh, pro player privilege. Anyways, we've had one of the biggest crossovers in the entire universe. Yesterday, Microsoft and Sony announced a partnership between the two tech giants in order to create a new cloud-based solutions for gaming. Mm -hmm. That means that future Xboxes and PlayStation could feature similar streaming technology. The move comes a few months after Google announced that it would be getting into stream-based gaming with Google Stadia. Marissa, have we seen the world just fall apart ah. or is it coming together? This is incredible news. This is amazing. First of all, they've got to team up. They've got to do something to compete against Google. Listen, mm -hmm. obviously there is fear here. They looked into the technology. They see that Google's doing something very interesting. They realize they cannot achieve greatness on their own. And that is when you combine forces, people. Mm -hmm. That is when you get together. This is, the, this is the combination that I've been waiting for for a long time. This right here, in my lifetime, did not think would ever happen. These two logos These right beside, two logos each other? beside each other. Even well, like, unless it said versus between. Right, exactly. <laughs> we don't have that here. It should be a little plus sign, actually, a little plus. Equals greatness for gamers everywhere. This is incredible, people. Like, they'll still compete with each other, I know, over, yeah. like, you know, exclusives this isn't, or this whatever is, yeah. it is. People are like, oh, does that mean I finally get Spider-Man and Nathan Drake um, on no. Xbox? No. No. Why would that ever happen? This is them, they each have a piece of a technology that yeah. they can combine together to make an even better product. Yeah. So they're going to do that. You might have one similar service that will probably launch under a completely different name that is disassociated with both of those brands as a separate company mm. that they both have a share in yes. that will be a streaming thing to compete with Stadia. Mm -hmm. Now, I can see them being the only ones that are actually really getting worried about this because Stadia attacks that, you know, couch play. Sit yeah. back, kind of casually play. You're not going to be worried about, I really don't think, you know, Steam or anybody's going to be worried about this. PC gamers are 
want their games on their PC and yeah. installed on their computer. But right. Stadia is a completely different product than that. But these guys most definitely have to be worried. And it, while it is very shocking to read in the headlines, not all too surprising, in all honesty, because oh, they yeah. have to do something to step up. I mean, I, I was surprised. I think many gamers were surprised. I know that you obviously swing the way of Google and you always kind of watch what they do and you know they're on top of everything, but there's no way that anybody could have predicted that this would actually happen. No, 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 like, no. I'm not saying I predicted it. I'm just saying at the, you know, at the end of the day, it's that, not ultimately surprising. That's two for you, by the way, because you snuck in another one earlier on. Yeah. We, we need to have an intervention on this. Like, right. we need no, to I'm move just helping people with their bingo the, cards, okay? <laughs> yeah, okay, listen, crunch has been a big issue in game development for years, and the new ruling in the European Union is trying to curb it. The European Court of Justice ruled that employers must accurately track hours that staff work. This is meant to enforce the European Working Time Directive, which prevents employees who opt in from working more than 48 hours a week without repercussion. The thing is, it's voluntary, meaning workplace culture can still dissuade employees from signing on. Brody, yeah. do you think this actually has a chance at curbing this whole crunch no. culture? No, you know what? I don't I don't know if that's really what I want to tackle. What I want to say is I uh, think this is a good idea oh. okay. in, in the sense that it's not uh, mandatory. I do like the fact that now um, uh, workplaces can put this infrastructure in and make sure that you know there are competition there are companies that you can go to I can say hey um, I want to work for this company because there's no crunch here mm. right it's going to create competition in the yeah. workplace but there are some people that do want to put in those errors there are some people that really 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 love programming and making games yeah. and they're going to put those hours in whether they're at the workplace or they're at home so Absolutely. having a place that will pay you for that and that you can go and work to sure it may not be the best um, work, you know, like your uh, habits to get into, yeah, yeah, the work environment, but it's something you're choosing. So the fact that there's choice here is the important factor, but the fact that they're doing this is also very important because so many people are forced to do it because of those people that want to For do sure. it. For sure. They but feel the, like that's the standard. On the other side of it, though, when you are signing something, right? Like, first of all, you get really excited about a new job, you're getting employed, you're going to be making video games, this is so exciting. Yes, of course, mm -hmm. I will sign on the dotted line. I'm so excited. Thank you for the opportunity. So they're going to sign their life away. They're going to be excited to be there. And then after a week of this, maybe two weeks, maybe a month, maybe maybe six. It catches up. It catches up to you, right? Yep. So there's got to be a clause in the contract that should allow the opt-out to be maybe be reversed, right? Because people get families, people get older, people get tired, okay? So it can't just always be that. But when you're young, when you're hungry, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Like, just be there, grind it out because it's fun and you're enjoying yourself. But that does not last, people. That does not last. Well, for, uh, unless I'm misunderstanding, from what it sounds like is it's the uh, the workplace, the employer that decides to opt into this this thing. So you know beforehand if this employee is in this program or not. So but, that's a good step because now employees aren't going to make those mistakes. They're going to be like, right, oh, like I know online. that I could be under crunch here if yeah, I yeah. sign up with this company. Yeah, be like Brody. Read every word of your contract. I do. Brody does. It's he important. Everything, even like when you're when you're signing terms of agreement, Brody will read every single word in that terms. Do it yourself or get a lawyer. Straight up. Anyways, okay. next topic. That's why he has no money. The Epic Game Store has no other reasons. Too much <laughs> not do. Has seen plenty of controversy over recent months, and its newest controversy isn't entirely Epic's fault. The store is holding a sale where everything is, at minimum, 10 US dollars off, with Epic subsidizing the cost. That includes pre-orders, which is why some developers have chosen to pull their games from sale until it's over. Vampire the Masquerade, Bloodlines 2, and Oxygen Not Included are two such games. And to say players are unhappy is an understatement. It's weird that people are getting upset now over a sale. Yo, every any kind of news that comes up for Epic right now, everybody is trying to trash. This is the thing, they are they are kings at this moment. They have all the money, they got all the people, they got all the dough, they got all the streamers, they got all the gamers. So well, everybody around is like, okay, how can we dump all over Epic now? What well, it's a sale. Like it is a friggin' sale. Can we just enjoy the sale while it lasts? Like, have you heard of Bay Days? Yeah, but it, people are seeing it as potentially predatory on people that don't understand the full story of what's going on with Epic and why people are hating Epic. So now they're saying, hey, let's do a sale. People forget why they're hating us because we're giving them a but bunch of money off. You would think they had a meeting, they're like, I know what will get people to not hate on us, a sale. Like, you think that actually happened? Yeah. Usually, Seriously? Usually sales will help. And no. it's going to. It's going to get a lot of young gamers that don't really have any idea of what's going on politically with this whole situation. And they're like, oh yeah, this is great. And now they're growing up. It's smart. It's a great business move because now they're pulling all these new gamers into the store. They're going to grow up on the Epic Game Store. Um, and 
that's going to be the rest of their gaming life for the next 10, 15 years. I, ju I just don't like. But it doesn't fix the problems that were already there. I just don't, I still don't understand the uproar that comes from any kind of announcement with a company like this. You guys, they, all, they just want to make money. What, what are we not understanding about this? People get so upset, they're like, not doing it for gamers. They're doing it for themselves. Like, what, I don't, that, that is all that this is. That's all mm -hmm. that this is. To get more people involved, get more people buying their games into their store, jumping back in and knowing that their credit card is attached to that account in Epic Game Store, yes, for sure. Let's get all the money. That's what they're doing. So are, 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 you, are you saying like that, you know, they're, this is a bad thing or a good thing? I think it's a great thing for their company and their shareholders. Okay, but you still don't believe that they care about the gamers? I don't. They're making, they, they are a company making things for consumers to buy. So they will think about what the consumers want to buy, but in the end, it's all about the money. That's it. Bottom line. Tell me I'm wrong. I, no. Because <laughs> I'm not. It's time to check in with the streamers in Clip It. Our first clip comes from Super Mario 64 speedrunner Masei Anella, who got excited as she was about to complete a sub 35 minute run. Whoop. All right, one more, one more. One more bomb. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Woo! Ah, oh, we did it! Oh man, no mistakes. No mistakes. Oh shit, wait, no! I'm so upset. I'm so upset. No! I'm so upset. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. I can't believe. I can't believe that just happened. No, no. That is so sad. Who picked this clip? Why would you show this to us? This is I wanted, devastating. I wanted to, you know, end today off all happy. And yeah. now we got to deal with it. That is the saddest thing ever. It's, I'm actually oh. about to cry. Well, no. That grumpy hurts. Cat, grumpy cat. Dying is the saddest thing ever today, but okay. um, well, why are but you bringing that, up more sad news? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. That me no. I'm so sorry. That stinks. But That's... you know what? Like you're an amazing gamer. Like the fact that you got there, the fact that she was sub 35 minutes, the fact that she actually did get it. Like honestly, in my heart, she got it. I think most people are gonna be like, like. Not technically, obviously, but people will be like, oh, yeah, no, she did it. For sure. She did it. Yeah, for sure. Still, like, we give believe the record. that you got it. We know. Absolutely. Don't worry. We are behind like, you. It's a silly mistake, but honestly, we all make them. Like, have you seen me play that DK game in the green room? Oh, my God. <laughs> Two years down the road, you'll look back and, and laugh, hopefully. Yeah. Right now, we're crying, though. <laughs> Our next clip comes from Shroud, or rather, Shroud Stream Snipers, who were definitely monkeying it around. Mm. Uh, up in this tree, there are some, some wildlife. Do you have your sound turned on? You, you don't have your sound turned on, do you? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hi, Kenrek. <laughs> what kind of sound does a monkey make when he dies? <laughs> oh my god. This has turned into a nature documentary. Nature show. <laughs> <laughs> stream sniping is a goddamn art. Uh, and they know, honestly, yeah. straight up, sh Shroud stream snipers are the best. Yeah, it's funny because you see like Ninja getting so upset over stream snipers. Yeah. And I, I feel like the difference is that Shroud had a good start to stream sniping because yes. uh, first off, even if you try to fight Shroud, you're gonna lose. So people started getting creative with it. Like you had like Banana Man and stuff. Yeah. Like the, he has some like celebrities and like what do heck? Like there are some celebrities that were that born from Shroud yeah, stream yeah. sniping. Yeah. Whereas people just want to kill Ninja in the game. So they go into Fortnite and try to beat him. Right, right? exactly. They don't no, fool around like that. You're this. right, Shroud's audience is much more creative. Um, yeah, I just like his audience more as a whole and also the way he deals with them too. I just enjoy Shroud as a streamer just bar none, I feel like he's he is absolutely the best. I think that's I think that's why is because he's yeah. so like laid back and chill about exactly. it. Exactly. That people like if you try to get him upset, it won't work. It doesn't work. So when he yeah. says, "Hey guys, stop," you kind of respect that. Absolutely, one hundred respect for our Canadian boy Shroud. It is truly the best time of the day where we scroll the Twitters to bring you all the things the pros bust us with on their timeline. And today it's story time, courtesy of Golden Guardian support player Ole. Jim's story, I've been getting personal training and he always asked me about the level of difficulty, so I use easy, okay, hard for it. When I did chest part, I said, I feel hard. People suddenly looked at me and then I learned a new thing. I only use difficult since then. 
<laughs> like honestly though, like, bless his heart. Because think about it, like he's from a different country, he's trying to learn the language, he's trying to get his fitness on. You put yourself in the situation though of just, you're, you're over there lifting, you know, you're just doing some curls, whatever, and yeah. this guy behind you blasts, yells out, I feel hard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, okay. I feel like you can't relate to that at all. Of what? Because I, I, like, I don't go to the gym, that's true. Yeah, that's, that is that's very what I correct. Meant. Thank, why do you always do this to me? I love Make you. Make me feel bad about myself. <laughs> so let's move on. I like this story time. Let's have another. This one's a tale from Sir Action Slacks. Ooh. Did you know that Charles de Gaulle's, sorry I'm saying that wrong, wife was deeply interested in the occult and after her husband's death she re uh, redesigned his airport with several winding paths and dead ends to confuse and trick evil spirits who roam the halls? Just kidding, Paris airport is poop just cuz. <laughs> Yo, I've never been to the Paris airport, but what has been your worst? Like, I, uh, I mean, listen, I've been to some like pretty rinkadink ones, just being like a small city. Oh, tiny, I'm from, yeah, I'm yeah, from yeah. Saskatoon, and like they redid their airport. It looks fantastic now. Shout out to Saskatoon. Why? <laughs> Is it why? Yeah, why? Yeah, nobody's going to be flying through that. YXE. Yo, you should go to Saskatoon. It's a good time. Why? Um, Give me like two good reasons to go to Saskatoon. You literally tell me to go to Kitchener all the time. So all, for all the same reasons you tell want to go to Kitchener, you should go to Saskatoon. No, no, no. Tell me why. Because it's amazing. We're gonna all City go of Bridges, on a field yeah. Trip. City of Bridges. We gotta see yeah. some bridges. Are you guys excited? Uh, but no, I heard the Paris Airport is actual trash from so many people. It's like carpeted or something as well. Why? It's it's supposed to be like a, a crazy place. If you've been there in chat, like please let us know or let us know your craziest airport adventure or at least experience. Yeah. Because there's uh, a, been a few of them. And you can't just say Chicago O'Hare or LAX because we all know those are trash. Okay. So all right. do let us know your stories though. All right. Our last profound thought is not a story, but I'm sure there's a story that goes along with it. G2's Pengu says, I think I slept on my left testicle. It hurts. Um, Brody, can you empathize? No, I do want to use this moment to oh. be a little serious and say, okay. boys, check your gentlemen every day mm -mm. because there could be mm. something more or there could be some testicular torsion going on there. Mm -mm. Yeah, you don't want that. If, if, if your balls hurt, Get them checked out. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want to take any chances with those. That's yeah, for sure. Yeah. Never yeah. woken up with a fall. Can you? Can your balls fall asleep? Like uh, you know how your arm gets all like. Dead? I, I definitely can't answer that question. Yeah, I, I, don't, I, don't, I have no. I, can, I don't know. I've I've never I've never had what? sleepy balls. <laughs> But you've had tangled ones? Ta no, thank goodness. That's what I'm saying. If they hurt, go to the doctor. Because there might be something going on there. They might be all twisted up like the Paris halls. What if they, what if they burn? Huh? What if they burn? Well, that's something else. And now you need to get some medication. Because Brody knows about that, too. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, great. I'm, I'm super experienced. Jesus Christ, leave me alone. Let's, <laughs> let's move on. Let us move on. Because it's time to get to some crowd controlled. We got things, normal things, weird things, cool things, <laughs> all the things. Let's start by defining physics. Uniqua has a particular set of skills. Mm. I don't know what they could ever be used for, but let's take a look. All right, check this. There are people getting so crazy okay. in GTA now. Also, first off, that I'm pink though. I'm so though, jelly about this that GTA. Pink though, that pink though? All yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, I like this it. This is how you fly in style, all right? <laughs> let's stall the plane. <laughs> also, I'm not sure that this is how physics work. Oh, what? That's making me motion sick. Really? Yeah, I can't look You get motion sick just by watching? Yeah, I can't, I can't look I really wish my pilots would do this. Are you insane? No. You know what the, I'll I tell would, you in a I second. would pass out from actual fear. And the finisher? No, no, come on. There it is. No. Transformers, <laughs> Autobots, roll out. <laughs> Uh, straight up, one of my, when I'm flying, my favorite things are when, when you go through turbulence and you like lose altitude a bit. You know that quick jump and you feel weightless? Are everyone you else, serious? Everyone else freaks out. I'm like, oh, this is, this is the feeling. This are, is the good stuff. You're, you're an interesting cat, I it's gotta say. It's like a because roller coaster. It's the same feeling. Brody, that is like when people have the most fear. That's when like palms get super sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. Um, no, and like this pit in my stomach, it, like I feel like I might be nauseous. I look for the vomit bag just in case. I start having a little panic. I put the, the air on. I can't breathe. Like it's, it's panic, man. Just pretend you're on a roller coaster. No, Tur actually, no. You know when it's okay when I'm playing Roller Coaster Tycoon and then for some reason I'm fully immersed in this game that it doesn't it's bother like 4D. me. It's like 4D. It's full 4D, yeah. I'm fully immersed <laughs> with my people. Um, wee! <laughs> All right, keeping up with the Doe Duo, we had the other day, Rafa Grassetti has transferred some Smash characters into the real world. Oh, these are... These oh, are well beautiful. Done. There's, these okay, are there's a couple that might... The Mega Man is what I love. It, it's like the original oh design. God. 
Yeah, DK, uh, you got the chimp there. Uh, no, this is, these ones are a little weird, but weirdly enough, that Sonic? Sonic still looked better than the movie. I don't know what it was. It was that was closer though to like the movie Sonic than Sonic. It was. Sonic. It was closer because he he had like the full finished eyes. Yeah. I th it's a real world thing. You can't have one eyeball. So That's we had fair. to do that. But I think the teeth looked a little more aggressive yes. and the, the fur looked a little more ruffled. Like he was like the, the teeth have actually to be moving fast and stuff. Yeah, he's yeah a you hedgehog. can't just have these human teeth. I think that's the biggest problem. That was it, like he, he is a hedgehog, right? So why not just look at a hedgehog and try to make that into something animated? Did you know that hedgehogs actually uh, eat poop and then they foam it up in their saliva and they rub it on themselves? Are you serious? That's a real thing. Hedgehog what? and scientists don't know why they do it. <laughs> maybe, for real. Is it maybe it's like an exfoliation thing? Uh, maybe or to hide their scent. I have no idea. But or they eat poop scent, yeah. and they rub it on themselves. What? I want to see that in the Sonic movie. It's science, Brody. <laughs> anyway, sometimes you are in a hurry <laughs> and you got no time for fools in your way. Like when you rush into class and some jerks walking four abreast. Don't you wish you could just do this? <sighs> yeah, check this. This guy walks into town with swag. Uh, oh. Get oh. out the way, <gasps> fool! <laughs> You just plowed yeah, that through. That man was weightless. Huh? He was weightless. Yeah, he just like plowed feather. through. He's like, I don't give a crap what you're doing. <laughs> you get out my way. They didn't really put any thought or effort into those NPCs, I don't think. Like, they put no weight into them. <laughs> well, right? Like, he literally was just like a, a box, like a cardboard box. He's, he's been, he's been uh, breathing <laughs> all the helium in. Wait, it's like I have, a balloon. I have what? something special that I need to share. What is this? This so, comes out of nowhere. So, I know. So this, um, literally out of nowhere. So this is something that we uh, had in the show when Brody wasn't here. So reason, so, because reasons why Bro Brody is late. We have a new one today. Uh, this is, wait, what, what did I want to delete? Okay, we're going to delete this one. Okay. And we're going we're gonna, to... We got a new one. I, I hope this marker is good. Uh, let's see, what was it? Here we go. Yeah. This is the new. This is the newest one today. Laundry. Brody. Brody was late today because of laundry. I wasn't late. It's not. You're not late. If you tell people that you're going to be late. What? You're late when you what? show up late. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that was Director Blaine, by okay, the way. Okay, end the show. I'm oh over this. Gosh, end I'm the show, easy. Marissa. Thank Read you your so script. Thank you so much for watching this and for me to remember. You can always hit us up on our socials to say hi and send us stuff to react to. Someone type in exclamation mark socials right now to see them. We'll see you later.